Okay, we're back. And I have just um, laid down another wash over the entire thing to make this a little more make it darker. And we're just giving some texture here. We don't want to overdo that. So I'll drop in a little more just straight Payne's Gray to try to get some of this darker knots and things that are in here. And this is still wet, so it's going to soften a bit, so it won't be so severe. And we're just piddling, playing around, just building texture. And if this is too dark, you can always dab, uh, dab it back like that so you don't have anything that's too harsh on there. This post is more colorful than um, a lot of the posts that you see out in the uh, actual where I live in the gulf, around the Gulf because everything gets faded by the sun. This one, and now I'm going to add a little burnt sienna to that so we get a slightly different brown. Just so we can have a redder look. Down here. And you can drag through that as well with a palette knife or a credit card and you can soften these. It's really fun. It's just all about creating texture. You could use a sponge on this if you wanted to. I like little gnarly, gnarly bits here and there. And you can soften those back also. Some darker than others. And since this is all about just the, make, having fun here, it doesn't really matter how much of this you uh, do. You could also flick this if you wanted to on here. Get some more texture there by doing this. But see, I've gotten it on the... You should cover your bird, actually, <laughs> before you do this, because this stuff goes everywhere. That's one way to do it. You can do this with a toothbrush. And I'll soften that in a minute. It's a nice way to get texture though. And if I were doing something um, large, I would cover all of this so that you didn't get these flicks everywhere, but really it's okay. You can also just you know, if you want kind of a loose background or you don't want it to be so stiff, this is a nice way to do it. You can also spritz like this. And then you can just drop where you see the water. It's kind of hard to see, but wherever there's water, you can just do this and let that, let it make its own path, which is kind of fun. Give you a nice texture there. That's a bit much, so we'll soften that back. Not too much going on here. 
in the background there. So really there's lots of lots of ways to get texture in this. Um, so I'm going to dry this right now and see where we are and then maybe we will um, do a little bit more and we'll be back. You can also take a dry brush. Let's see if I can find a... Alright, here we go. And just do very light texture. Actually get that on there and then just dab it off and then just drag it across and it'll give you a nice bark effect. So there are lots of different ways to get texture. But you have to be very light handed with this or you aren't going to get the texture that you want. You can also do it with a palette knife. You can actually just take your palette knife and do this, which is always fun. Let's get some more here. There we go. You can do that with the credit card as well. This, just you just put it on the edge of your palette knife and you'll get these textures like that the uh, key is to just not be too particular okay so we're gonna leave that for right now We're going to call that enough texture for right now. And we're going to leave a highlight there. That's better. lines and our decking down here just to suggest that not too much and just a little over here much. I don't want that to be um, too much of a focal point there. So I'll just kind of do that like that. All right. So I think I'll go ahead and take off the masking fluid. And I will be back shortly. Okay, this is the scary stage where um, we take the masking fluid off and everything looks so harsh and scary. So what I do is just come back in and everywhere that I want to soften, I'll just go back in with that color and soften those hard edges. You can scrub these back also but I tend to just go in and um, go back into the uh, mixtures and soften them a bit. Pretty much just like this. So this is our cooler mixture here. If you just go over 
your thicker lines in any place that uh, you just have too much going on because there's a lot going on in this. So I would just go back through and create little uh, areas of darker and softer. Um, pigments here and there so they don't look so it doesn't look quite as severe following the um, direction of your feathers of course and uh, trying to um, push the darks even darker as you go along And um, if you reference back to the photo, which I will put at the uh, beginning and the end of this video, you can see what we're doing here. Now I want to go in here and soften this a little bit. So we don't have quite so much texture. You want some of that texture to show through. Okay, because that's what gives it the shape. However, we don't want this much texture showing through. I'm gonna have to go back into that eye again in a minute this is all softer here so we really want to just do almost a totally dilute wash with very little color in it almost too um, soft almost non-existent color just to kind of do a wash over everything and soften everything so it's not quite so severe we need that highlight there though now we'll go back in here and soften some of these and of course you don't have to paint nearly as much um, in the way of texture as I did here. If you'd like to do less, that's perfectly fine. I'm keeping this particular um, side of his wing warmer because it's catching quite a bit of the light. So. And I'm not obviously, as you can see, very careful when I do this. It's mostly just knocking back some of the whites, really. That's all it is. And creating some texture as well. All right. I do want him to be, uh, have a lot of texture. Because I just think pelicans are fun with a lot of texture so without it, painting the individual um, um, feathers but yet still maintaining the um, there all right buddy I think you're just about done because we wanted to do this in a loose style. So I think I'm happy with him. And we don't want to lose all the whites because they're important. Let's put that red back there instead. We'll carry all this through just so you can tell that that's part of his beak there. Get a little more finished look. Okay.
So I'm going to step back and look at this and decide what needs to be corrected. And I will be back shortly. All right, I've gone back and just added a little bit more texture and softened some of these lines. And um, I think I'm going to call him done. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our channel and we will see you soon.